Hey, what's up everyone? This is Zarina with Serena's Guides. I'm also Blue Rain in the game Upland, Blue Rain on Discord. That's B-L-E-U-R-A-I-N. And I am Blue Rain on Instagram. Feel free to hit me up and subscribe to all my socials. And definitely subscribe to my YouTube channel right now and hit that like if you haven't already. Today we're going to be jumping into Upland, playing a little of the Layer 2 games. Then, if time permits, we're going to do some treasure hunting because your girl's got to look for that spark. And I want to jump in, or not jump into, I want to jump into Blender and try to do some map assets and show you guys how to submit if you're interested in seeing that. We'll see how long I can go. It is like right now, 4.26 p.m. my time as I am recording this. I plan to record it, see how it goes, and hopefully publish it live and then do some chatting with you guys in the chat live stream. So let's see how it goes. I'm going to go ahead right now and show you the first thing I want to, um, the first layer two is this one here. So it's BE battle. And I just came across it today. Um, if you haven't seen it, it's, I found this particular dev shop in Santa Clara. And so I was like, well, well I haven't ever played this. So let's see what it's about. So let me show you. I'm going to present now their game. And so I signed up in the game. I connected to this experience. And then I came to this. So let's see. I'm trying to find my screen here so you guys can see it. And not that one. Okay, here it is. Okay, so here on this screen, it, I selected my crown jewel BE, and I was actually going through here earlier, so I'm going to back up really quickly and show you. Once you connect, it shows you which um, block explorers you have. It's showing me right now one of 10. I have 21 total block explorers. And I went through checking the details to see if there were any, like, anything um, special about these block explorers. And I didn't see anything as far as attack. All of my block explorers that I checked all say six for the attack. I see some vitality here, it's at one. Um, and this critical hit at 12, I also saw that. Regeneration rate of one. So let's go ahead and just, wait, let me back up and show you what else I saw. I'm gonna back up a little further. So it was no open fights because I did go looking. I'm gonna go to my dashboard so you guys can see that. This is what it looks like when you log in and go to your dashboard. So it's synced already, so you can see my username, my Upix balance is kind of a pathetic balance right now. My last sync is today, and actually, is that the right date? No, right now it's Sunday, my time, on the 24th. So this says the 25th, and it's got a different time zone, obviously, because it's 539. So wherever this is routing to, that time zone's already at that time. Um, so my list of my BEs, list of open fights, and then the fight history. So I don't have anything like a fight history because I've never actually done that. So I'm gonna look at gameplay because I don't know how to play the game. So gameplay description. In a standard block explorer battle, you select your block explorer and set your strategy for your attack and your defense. Your opponent is doing the same. The results are two sets of attacks and defenses. To understand what up, mid, down mean, attack up, punch to the head, <laughs> mid, punch to the stomach, down, kick to the legs. Defense, up is duck. Huh, that's interesting that up would be duck because you would think up, down would be duck, right? Like, so it's not really intuitive to press up to duck. But anyways, um, mid is to step back and down is to jump up. That's odd too. I would think up should be jump up and down should be duck. That's just my opinion, but we'll see how this goes. So after both players join the game and confirm the message in Upland, the fight starts. The system is going to calculate some stats for your block explorer, e.g. your attack power based on strength. After that, it is starting the fighting rounds. We match the attack and defense actions from the player and calculate the damage dealt from P1 to P2 and P2 to P1. If the attacker's actions differ from the defender's actions, we got a hit. Now, we do a random generator to check if it will be a critical hit. If yes, the damage gets doubled. We divide the damage with vitality. If the 10% bonus on vitality is chosen, the damage will be divided by 1.1. The life of the block explorer will now be reduced by the damage taken. 
Next, we reduce both block and explorer energy by one. Now we check if either one of the players got life or energy to zero or less. If one player has zero of life or energy, he gets defeated, either by dead or exhaust. I think they meant death. Um, if both players got a zero, we get a draw. If bot, I think they mean both. If both players cut numbers greater than zero, we start the next round, including new random chances for critical hits. If in round two, we select the attacks and defense from the select selected per round up, mid, and down. If we got to a round six, we take the first selections again, round 11, first again. Don't really understand that part, but here's some stuff down here as examples. So here's got some calculations. Um, I can see all the attacks are at six, so I was right about that. It looks like your energy obviously can change up. So both regenerate one point every hour for energy values for the block explorers. So let's go ahead, I guess, and let's see, how to. Okay, we registered already. We connected with Upland to join a fight. Fourth, uh, how to create a new fight. Okay, that was, I think the fighting, starting a fight is intuitive. So go to the dashboard. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and see list of open fights, start a new one since there are no fights. And I'm gonna go ahead and use that beach date, start a fight. Please select your bonus and your attack defense sequence. All right, so I'm gonna go with that bonus on strength. And I think I'm going to start with a down for my defense. No, I want to up for my defense. See, it's not intuitive. I want to duck and I'm going to strike them in the middle. And then for the next one, I want to be down, like I'll jump, I guess. And I'm going to attack them in the head. And then I'm going to duck again and also try to attack in the head again. Um, then I'm going to defense. I'm going to mid. I'm going to step back. I'm going to punch in the mid. And then I'm going to my last attack. I think I want to do a down. And my defense one, I'm also going to do it down, which is actually to jump up, I believe. Or to, I don't know. <laughs> I forgot. I'm pretty sure it's opposites, right? So down was up and up was down. All right. So submit. All right. So now it has, don't forget to confirm the end game message for the tournament example of such. So it's asking me to go into the, the tournament. And it says that there's going to be a request to get 525 upics. So I'm not sure. Uh, I'm not sure why I would play this game. I'm not sure what I'm going to get out of it. Like if my BE wins, what's that going to do for me for 525 upics? But because I can get 525 upics pretty easily, I'll go ahead and do that. So let's go ahead and see. Maybe I can get some people to join me in disc from discord to join this be battle we'll see i'll type it in there and tell people hey check out be battle and join my game and see if people fight um so i guess i'm going to go to upland now and let's see let me go back to you guys let's go ahead and switch up the window and let's go to upland and check out doing the whole initiating this battle. So present, I got a window for Upland open. So let me see where, where. All right, so I think in my messages, there's a message. All right. Up, oh, it's telling me a thousand fifty upx. That is much different <laughs> than what it asked for initially. 
So again, I'm not sure why I would pay this to play this game, but out of research sake, we're gonna go ahead and accept this. So I'm gonna go ahead and pay this 1,050 epics. All right, done it. Now let's see if we can get people who are on Discord to come play this. Let's, I'll, I'll send a shout out and see if anyone wants to join real quick. But in the meantime, we'll do a little treasure hunting while we're trying to find out. But first, let me do it. So head over to Discord. And also, you know what, I'll go, I'll go in here. Oops, not here. Let's go to chat, general. Let's see if anyone wants to play. So I just started, I'll say initiated, initiated. Oopsie. A fight in BE battle. Layer two. Dev shop in Santa Clara. Um anyone want to battle? <laughs> Let's see if I can get people interested. Okay, and I'll ask over here in Discord as well. And we'll see what happens. All right, so since we're in here, let's go ahead, oops, didn't wanna do that. Let's go ahead and scroll out. I'm gonna get rid of this for a second. All right, so for tips for hunters, because I haven't done a hunting video like on tips for a while, so first off, if you're gonna plan on treasure hunting, you do wanna turn on your location, this little thing, so that you can see the outline of your city. It just popped up, it took a minute, but you can see right here, you see how it's got that little, it kind of reminds me of Winnie the Pooh, this body shape, like his profile. But anyways, um, so you wanna be able to see the borders so you know where you're hunting at. And then the other thing is before you actually initiate your treasure hunt, which you'll do right here, scroll in, get a good a look up, click on a property, Press treasure, it says nothing's visible, fine. But now when you start your treasure hunt, you don't have to click to get treasures to, and make it start. So here I am, hey, I don't wanna practice. Oh, I totally forgot guys, we can't do treasure hunting on PCs. <laughs> so I'll have to post a different video for my actual hunt. Good thing I didn't start one, but that was the tip. All right, so because we can't treasure hunt anymore on PCs, is there anything else I need to do in here? Let's check the chat and see if people have responded. Hi. Guys, want to battle? <laughs> I'm trying to check out this. <laughs> I'm trying to check out this layer two experience. I need someone to join my fight. BE Battle is the name of the dev shop. Okay. Copying that message so I can put it in Discord. Okay. I don't know if I'm going to get anyone to pay up that thousand epics, and I'm not sure if I'll get my epics back if no one joins my battle. So that's something to find out. But, anyways, while we're in here, I actually wanted to do something big time, which is join the real node dev shop. So I'm not sure I'm connected in Upland because I always go through spatial. So we're going to go ahead. And let me just make sure by going to my settings, I might have already activated it, but I don't know if I actually went to it in the um, space in the Ronos um, dev shop. So really quickly, third party apps under settings. All right, I got it up. It is connected. Now I just need to go ahead and connect in game. I'm not sure if one of these dev shops is the real node. But I'm just going to go ahead and use this directory. Directory dev shops real node. Okay, so. I don't believe you have to be anywhere in particular, but I'm curious if there are any in Santa Clara. Staten Island, Rutherford, Cleveland. Oh, we do have one. All right, there it is. And come on, 2359. 
Oh, uh, well, what's this street address? Lands Battle. Hey, there's Lands Battle. We can check that out next. Let's see. Up Explore. And here should be the real node. There we go. This is so cute to me, son of a pitch. <laughs> what a cute name for a shop. So if you're looking for a cute name for a shop to visit, son of a pitch sounds like a fun place to visit. All right, the real node. Let's check this out. Take me to the application. I'm just going to check on, make sure you're seeing what I'm seeing. Yes, you are. All right, so here we are. Let me log in. I think this is the part that I have to do. And I'm not sure if I've ever set it up. Let's try. Let's try that. Oops. All right. So blue rains. It looks like what I am. Login successful. Okay. So now, what I wanted to do was check out the mall, and I'm not sure. Let's see. You can jump in, decorate your property. Is this a link? Oops, doesn't exist. Let's see. Oh, maybe I have to log in. All right. Let's see. This space no longer exists. I don't think that's true. So let's see what happens. Ooh, I'm already, in, now I'm in here. So this is not, we want to make sure we can go the right way. So let's try that again. Because I don't want people to have any issues when I try to live stream from the mall. Layer one upland. Okay, so is this the mall? There's no link here. <laughs> This is cool. We done that. Mm. The university, the arcade, theater. And I thought we already logged in. Let me try again. Okay, I clicked on login. And then let's see. I'm sure we're logged in. What's this? The real node experience. Not sure what to do. Choose one. Okay. Choose one of the real node experiences below. All right. So it looks like one of these ones. And we want to go to the mall. All right, there. Let's see what happens. I'm checking my time. It's not going too bad. 4.44, yeah, that's less than a minute that it's taken so far, so. Okay, here we are. Woohoo! Okay, so, let me see, here I am. I wanted to see if it's too laggy for me when I'm on live stream or not. So I'm actually going over here, right here to these portals. And right there, it says shopping mall. All right, so we're gonna check it out. Ooh, falling in, it's pretty cool. <laughs> and there is the mall. So I'm actually heading over here because my shop over here is storefront. Love it, thanks Elijah for giving me a great spot. And right up front here, you can see that's, I'm actually gonna submit this bus stop as a map asset. It's a, the photos of, um, that I believe is my Laguna Beach picture right there, but it might be my Newport, I have to check it. Um, and you can see right here on the side of the bus stop, this one actually says the real node LA, but I wanna offer people the, um, the opportunities to get their own little sticker logo on the side of the map asset. So they, want to promote something on their bus stop, they can. And then I tried to do a little graffiti here, but you can't really see it up close here. So yeah, this is this is my shop. I got the cornhole map assets out here. Right now in game, I don't have the blue ones as an option yet. I have to resubmit, I guess, and get those taken care of. 
And what I really like about this spot is when you go in, hang on. I'm trying to move around and zoom in for you, but it's not working as well. I don't know. Might be too much going on. Let's see. Because I'm in there, but my camera is not zooming. Let's see if I turn on my mouse. And I'm connected. Can I zoom in? Nope. Having a bit of a hard time with this space right now. So it might be just too much. It's like, let's see. Oh, I can go here. I can go here. I'm trying to go further in with my eyesight, though. Like, my character's going, and I am not going with her. <laughs> so that's the, that's the weird part. Like, hey, come here. <laughs> Where's my vision? Hmm. Might have to work on that. Let's see what happens if I try to upload something. <laughs> Some other things are done. Let me see. Let me see my stuff. Oh, look. This is stuff they just offer in here. Let's, let's see if I put this cup in there. Did it show up? I don't see it. But it could just be stuck in the middle of the store. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure if this is going to work for my live stream. We'll talk about that later. I'll have to talk with Elijah because I can't get out of the store, can I? Yeah. Oh, here I come. Yeah, I just couldn't I couldn't get up close to go like the, the look for you all. So I'm sorry about that, guys. But maybe on my phone will be better. So we'll have to think about a good way to stream from the store for our live opening. Uh, all right, let's go ahead and go back to up and see if anybody has agreed to play with us. General, no one so far. Let me check Discord. See if anyone's going. I'm sure I posted it. Let's see. <laughs> nope, no one's interested, not yet. So this is kind of a downside of the layer two, especially if no one's really like, knows about it. I'm not sure. Like I said, I didn't even know this was open. So let me get this spatial music. And I think I'm wondering if there's anything I can do to fix up my controls. Nope, I think it's just definitely lagging on me. Um, bummer. I really wanted to go in here further, but my camera's just not following. I'm going to get lost in there if I keep going. <laughs> yeah. I lost myself. Where are you? Come back. <laughs> yeah, she's gone. So, okay, I'm just going to get out of here. Let me refresh and see if that does anything for us. I did want to take you on a tour of the mall just a little bit before uh, jumping out. Let's see. Well, yeah, see, like right now, I can zoom in and I can zoom out. That's what's supposed to happen. That was not happening before. So let's give this one more go. See if we can get it. Well, we can walk around pretty much. Okay, here we go. Jumping in. And I'm already once now. Now I'm having issues with those buttons I wasn't having issues with before. And I am frozen. Uh oh. Okay. So yeah, we're gonna have to work on this because people we want you guys to be able to come in. Let me let me try on my phone, which you guys can't see. I'll try that later. But yeah, sorry guys. Looks like we can't tour them all today. I did get a little bit of a lag here. It's not wanting to work out. Killer. Okay, so what's up next then? We can let me go ahead and open Blender. 
But before I do, and I want to talk about, let's go here. Hang on. We are going to open Blender, which I did. And I want to show you up in Upland. Well, actually, I want to show you a different window. Okay, here's where we're going to go. One sec. I'm going to take you guys to the Upland site so you can see where to see uh, how to do your Upland assets. So if you go to upland.me, and I'm going to go start back from the original. Okay, hang on. I need to, so I'm going to put these all in here and go right here. Okay, so um, from this spot right here, on these drop downs, if you go to create, you have structures, meta venture, experiences, assets, UGC. Click on that, scroll all the way down, and um, what you're going to do is keep going, keep going, scroll all the way to where it says guides. So it says 3D, 3D model resource on Gitbook at guides. And when you guys get there, it's going to look like one second. It's going to look like this all right so over here it has guides and i want to say i want to make um let's just say we're gonna make a map asset map asset nfts you can also see they have legits right now nft for legits they have examples for wearables and you have the ornaments map assets for template files transportation template files so pretty cool carts you know all right so we're gonna take a look at the rules so they, you have to turn in like these different types right so they have for your map assets or there they are L, you have your nft lod0 lod1 and lod2 files where you have less and less triangles available to you so you can see for the nft it tells you you can have 20,000 triangles max. Should be as small as possible. LOD2, you are working with um, only 12,050 um, triangles, which is a lot less. LOD1, 2,500. So you might almost want to just make your NFT, if, like honestly, if you if you could, if at all possible, to be the very lowest, because then you have like a lot less work than trying to make your submission. But sometimes those triangles really do count and how your model looks, so it's kind of your discretion. But that's what you're working with, and then you have the texture size. Um, emission shader is not allowed, so no like using emissions to, like light up anything. Um, transform Y up, and these things you do within Blender on, when you're finishing up. No light object, you have to get rid of all the empties, no animation objects, positioning, they tell you um, all these things. So if you're familiar with Blender, then you can probably work yourself through this. If you haven't used Blender and you're still learning, then you might want to ask some questions. Dejac, one of the reasons I think she should be player of the year is she does have the donut channel where she like has People share instructions on how to do things in Blender. It's been very helpful. So if you jump into that Discord, um, you can probably get some help if you're like confused. So, all right. The maximum height is 4.5 meters, 17, 17 meters. For the NFT, the maximum height, let's see if that stays. It's still the same. So let's go ahead and try to make some something in Blender and see, see what we get. Uh, or should we? Should we make something or should we mess around with the model I already have? I think, all right, let me think of what type of NF, NFT or map asset I could be making in the moment here that might be worth working on. There have been a lot of things created in Upland recently, 
people are super creative. It's been a lot, a lot to see. So finding something that others haven't actually put out yet is probably going to be hard at this point because there are just so many things. Uh, we have treasure boxes already. We have mailboxes already. Uh, I think some people are working on skate ramps, but then there are some rules against sports equipment now. So that's one thing you want to look at. So let's go see if we have the rules under characteristics really fast. I know there are some do's and don'ts. Uh, what are the rules? Okay, color guy, we got that already. Oh, here it is, rules. So check out the rules before you design things, okay? Because sometimes they change the rules and you don't wanna be like, oh man, I did all this work and it's against the rules. So I can't decide if we should do a cart or a map asset. All right. Um, Let's go ahead and, oh, the structure ornaments, but I do want to do one of those. Oh, man. Okay. Oh, I can't decide. I can't decide. This is the indecision part. Let's just go ahead and go to map assets because a lot of you guys are probably going to do that. All right. So here's the rules. Um, the model must be a real item that exists in real life and should have realistic measurements. So prohibited would be a huge tile with dimensions that are usually not manufactured. Um, an outdoor grill that is five meters high. An outdoor item that cannot be identified as such an item that exists in reality. Okay, so those are things like, you know, I guess it doesn't exist in reality, which I feel like if you make things that don't exist in reality, a statue, that you can do it. For example, those like gnomes and leprechauns, um, things like that. So those a leprechaun is not real, <laughs> but a statue of one is. So that really exists in reality. So maybe I like, think think along those lines. So maybe you can have a unicorn statue, but you can't just have a unicorn because those don't exist in reality. All right. So the model can't be or, or resemble a model that is meant for other upland model types, such as transportation, structures, structure ornaments, totems, or wearables. So it can't look like other things like that. So for example, maybe if you make a whole little um, gazebo that's not a gazebo, what do they call them? Oh, there's a word for it. But like basically think of another structure for your house that it can add on, that wouldn't be allowed. Um, the model can't resemble or be perceived as a realistic living organism, dead or alive. So I guess no dead fish, no dead animals. Um, human fantasy figures as dead as game pieces are allowed, as it is visually clear they are part of a stationary structural element such as a pedestal. So if you put a human or action figure on a pedestal, that is allowed. Prohibited anim models are animals, human beings, human statues. Interesting, because if it's on a pedestal, could that be allowed? It looks like it is. So. Uh, that's kind of confusing. Skulls, skeletons, plants or trees, synthetic rail. So no flat map assets that look like grass. Just not allowed. All right. The model can't be any form of transportation on land, water, or air. Uh, examples of prohibited models, carts, skateboards, bicycles, planes, sleds, cars, hot air balloons, <laughs> airplanes, helicopters, spaceships, rockets, airships, missiles, boats, ships, kayaks, Transportation infrastructure, such as gas stations, charge car chargers, road signs, or traffic light signs, which more cheese does have some obvious traffic signs or traffic things in the game already. So some people got grandfathered in because they already had their map assets, but now apparently Upland didn't like that and wanted to take a monopoly over those kind of things and is not allowing players to make that a thing. All right, so... The model can't be a place where human beings can live in. So again, no add-ons to homes. So if you thought you were gonna be cheeky with a nice little uh, garage <laughs> that people can set up next to their ranch house or something, that's not gonna be allowed. Even though you can't, I mean, people live in garages, but you know what I mean. All right, so the, the model can't be a for public infrastructure. Um, so no sidewalks, no roads, no bridges. The model must be relatively easily easy to move portable. So um, examples of prohibited models, storage containers, 
Interesting. So now you can't get your shed. No she sheds being allowed. Now there's no permanent gazebos, no houses, no tennis court, no in-ground pool, etc. Which I also think is kind of a bummer. I'm not sure why Upland's taking that ability from players to generate those things as map assets. It's really curbing the creativity. And it just doesn't seem right that we can't do those things, but whatever. All right, the model can't challenge the rules of physics. So no floating or flying objects. Um, the model can't have live elements such as running water or fire. Examples, a torch with fire, a barbecue with fire, fountains with running water, etc. The model can't be a billboard or contain excessive text or verbiage, which again, I feel like they're cutting into a lot of things that people want to do in Upland, and I don't agree with this restriction. <laughs> the model can't be for the sole purpose of displaying verbiage, letters or words. So people who are, went out and made those cubes and things with the alphabet, trying to like help people out with being cheeky with their properties, being able to spell out things, not allowed. So a tile with a letter A on it is no longer allowed. Um, map assets have to be four meters, um, four meters height, max by five. And I think this was different on the page we just looked at just a little bit ago. So the rules might be different right here, but literally in the things we just looked at, I don't think it changed there. So we'll double check. I'm writing this down. So it was four height and five for the other width and length. So we'll see. So we can't have a five meter um, flag pole because apparently that's unrealistic. The model can't have similar variations with different sizes. Lame once again. Because in real life, you have variations like this. So I feel like Upland, you need to chill out with all these crazy restrictions because it's hindering creativity and it's hindering productivity with actually making things more realistic that we want in the game. All right. So it's saying that each submission should have its own unique size and model name. So it doesn't make sense because it's saying, <laughs> like, say, for example, you want to, so here's that. An example of a prohibited model, model named carpet with size A and model named carpet with size B. So why not? Like people have different size properties. So I think that that's kind of a bad restriction. Mm -hmm. um, the model is an exact copy of another asset that exists in Upland. So I'm not going to cheat and copy someone else's things and nobody else should do that. So I do like this. Um, the model can't use any official Upland branding. Makes sense. The model name and model itself can't include any upland words such as upland or miles. Get it? They don't want you taking their stuff. Um, the model can't use any original IP characters, which doesn't make sense because my own IP is my own IP. So obviously it's original. So it's just kind of contradictory. But maybe they should have said it doesn't belong to you because my property or so my creations is my intellectual property. Um, the model is not something for you which you require permission to sell. Fine. Um, so an outdoor grill with a local uh, weather, a Disney figure can't do. The model can't contain any defamatory, obscene, pornographic, or violence. The model can't use any drugs or criminal references. The model can't use any gambling or financial references. The model should stick to upland standard quality or quality standards. The model can't contain gaps or tears when zoomed in. The model contain, can't contain pixelated or blurry areas when zoomed in. Transparent materials are not allowed. So is that like a window? What does that mean that transparent materials are not allowed? Seems kind of interesting. Um, hmm. All right. The model can't be photorealistic or have a photorealistic element in it. I do know there's a transparent um, button or background. And I'm thinking about when I would have a transparent material hmm. anyways the model can be photorealistic or have a photorealistic element on it so this is lame um so now i'm wondering if my but my map asset is going to be against the rules because i does have a photorealistic element as in a picture so is a photo is a picture photorealistic i mean it's a it's a photo right so interesting and it says an example of Oh yeah, here it is, a floor mat with a real photo of a house. Yeah, so no photos. So I feel like this is kind of sucky. Um, again, it really rips off or takes away from creativity and people who are artists 
who want to display their work, like me, who I'm a photographer, I'd like to put my pictures in the game on some of my map assets. And now this is basically saying you can't do that. So kind of messed up. It makes me wonder why Upland is trying to curb all these things and not allow the real world into Upland when we're building the real world. So Upland reserves the right to change or modify any of the terms and conditions contained in this UGC program at any time in our in our sole discretion. So like they're just letting you know we do what we want when we want and you can kind of suck it up buttercup if you don't like it. So that's that. All right, so because of that, let's go ahead and look back at that map assets and um, check out the, uh, the guides for map assets. So back over here, I wanna see what it said for the max, max height, where is it? Look, it's different, they didn't change it here yet. So guys, if you're not reading the rules, they still have the wrong information within their own actual guide for doing a map asset. So I'm not even sure we should bother looking at these, <laughs> these, these guides if they don't tell you what to do correctly. But all right, so now we can't put our own photorealistic things on um, properties. So you can't use real pictures. Um, that's really sucky. I really hate that rule. I, I feel like so upset about it right now. I have to take a minute and take a breather. Okay, so <laughs> let's go ahead and I guess, well, let's just jump in a blender. Let's just go ahead, you know, instead of doing a map asset because I can't think of anything super creative to do with all these limitations, I think we should just joke, go ahead and do something with carts um, because carts are big right now. So NFTs and hopefully the rules, you know what? Let's go back up to the rules for a sec. And carts. Let's go to the rules for carts because I don't even, I don't trust, <laughs> I don't trust the guy, guys. So submissions must embody the unique and distinctive style of a go kart. Designs that merely resembled scale down versions of regular cars would not meet the criteria for acceptance. And that's in red. Then going on, we have each submission requires a 100% report from the URL, URL generated from the model validator. Got that. All right, let's see. Gaps or tears. This is all no. So the model does not in include any signage. See? What is that? Like you can't put any signage? What does that mean? Like I can't have go real node? See what I mean? These rules are ticking me off. So <laughs> um, what if you wanted your own license plate? Does that count as a sign? I don't know what they mean. Model does not have does not include any um, excessive text. Oh boy, um, I can't of course have animals, trees, or bushes, or rock, or plant life. Now I'm saying the model does not include any power for electricity items, running water, or fire, or fuel. In my cart. Oh, interesting. The model does not use the IP, blah, blah, blah. That's the same. That's the same. That's the same. Transparent materials not allowed. All right. So no signs. Okay, let's go ahead and just jump into Blender. And we're going to try the cart thing. But I got to, let me, let me open up. So let's see this. Let's do this first. We are going to get the template for the cart. All right, download template. So I'm downloading the template, download. All right, it's there. Let me share my screen with you now for Blender. And get that going. And I've got about 15 minutes because you maybe hold your attention if you, if you can hang in there with me. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe. All right, so present. I'm gonna do Blender. Okay. So I actually just wanna open from my downloads, which should be here. We just downloaded it. I don't see that cart. So hang on. Let's see. Oh, you know what it is? I know what it is. I just went into general, did I? Unsaved, hang on. So file, new, general. Don't save. 
All right, so this one right here, we're going to import the GLTF. And that's what's in my downloads. So there we go. There we go. Import it. <laughs> it's right there inside the cube. You can actually see that cube that is initially here is a pretty good guide for... I just brought that up to be game level. It's a pretty good guide because if I go to edit mode, I'm going to get rid of these faces. And X. And I just want to get rid of the faces. Look, we got our little box. Keep <laughs> to know we cannot go outside that as far as our modeling for our our cart. You can't actually have any lights in your scene, um, so you can just delete those. So right now, we have Upland, I'm gonna delete the camera too. And let me just make sure you guys can see me. Yeah, okay, so maybe, maybe you wanna see just this. All right, so let's see, this is the blender part. Let me zoom in here a little bit maybe. So you can really see that cart. All right, this is what we're looking at. We got this cart body, and we're gonna do some designing. And so we're gonna get out of edit mode, and I'm gonna go ahead and add my own shape to this. So looking at it, because we're not supposed to alter anything. I'm gonna keep those wheels. This is theirs. So I'm just trying to get an idea. I think how I'm going to start this particular model is with a cube add-on. So I'm going to add my mesh. I'm going to add a cube. I'm going to immediately make it much smaller, but that was about there. Bring this up. I'm going to scale it in again on the x-axis. Oop, wrong way. Let's see if we can get it in there. I'm going to bring that out just okay so now the bottom of the cart has those wheels and I'm not really sure how I want to do the bottom of the short the cart they do say I always have like a reference and in my phone I do have some pictures of race carts, so I'm just gonna put up a, a go kart body for me to look at, um, just for my own sense of understanding of the bottom part. So it almost looks like people have rails going off those side rails, and there's just kind of this front body part at first that goes up. So, what I might do is focus on doing this. So bear with me. I'm going to shrink this in. Bring it up here. Bring that down. Okay. And then I know there's like this kind of curve. I'm going to go into edit mode now. Wait, before I do, control shift A or is it command shift A? Hang on. Oops. There is something we need to do. We need to. There, right. <laughs> there it is. It's command A. So for me, command A, I need to apply the scale. Make sure you guys do that. So command A, I'm just going to put all transforms. All right, so things can get messy if you don't apply the scale when you edit outside of edit mode. All right, so I want to make this body part, like right here, actually be more curved. So let me, I'm gonna loop cut, and give it, I, again, we're trying to conserve on triangles but I do feel like I need to give this a few cuts to work with. All right. I could have subdivided it, and maybe I should have. So let's, 
Let's go back and see what it looks like if I subdivide it into a bunch of cuts. This might be, I don't want to have too many triangles. That's, that's kind of the thing. So maybe like this and then also some loop cuts. And right here. Okay, so with my loop cuts, I think, and I'm not like a blender guru or anything, but I feel like we can make some, some cool changes. Oh, and maybe we wanna go into this mode and give this some, give this material some color. I'm gonna go new, let's make it blue like me, blue rain. Not that I'm a blue person, but color represents, let's see. Ah, I'm, not, I'm not liking these as they're coming on here too much, but I think I'm gonna go with this. I guess maybe we'll just have to go with red. Hmm. Pink for the ladies. All right, I don't know, I'm gonna go with this in-between kind of color. Let's do this one. Ooh, I kind of like that color. All right. Okay, so now I'm wondering, so I'm like probably gonna get rid of these faces in here on this side. Actually, let's go ahead and I'm just gonna bring it up there so I can see these faces. I'm gonna get rid of these ones. Oops. I want to give it up all of it. So let's just go ahead and delete. Okay. And slide that on. Okay. So we got a <laughs> we got a little bit happening here. This probably needs to be like somewhat pointed it or more more rounded or something. So Let's see, curious. All right, so that's a subdivision subserve. And maybe like that. All right, that's looking a little bit better. All right, let me go back into edit mode. And Let's see. I wonder. Just gonna extrude the top part of that just a little bit. All right, we've got a little bit of a of a front beginning. Let me go ahead and save this because I like the work so far. This is gonna go with blue cart and save to my Blender files. All right, so let me see where we're at with my live, this live stream right now. Oh, 53 minutes. I mean, we can do about seven more minutes of work and see if you guys can hang in there and see where we get with it. But if you're getting bored, don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, and you can take off. Leave a comment if you feel free to do so. Um, so, okay, let's go back over here and edit mode. So we got that top part. Let's see what else we want to do. I want to, I think, extend these side rails out or extend these things. Let's see. Hang on. I might actually hide the car body for a second just so I can see closer in here with these, what's going on there. All right. So I'm thinking that this part right here I'm going to pull out. So sorry about the dogs. Ooh, like it. I think that's good, looking good. Now wait, let me put that car body back on. So. Okay. All right, it's in there. Let me make sure I save again. I meant this. <laughs> okay, let me look in object mode. 
All right, so we got something going on here. I think still though, this part has to kind of come up over the wheel. And I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do that, but let's go ahead and give it a go. So back over here, edit mode. I think I'm gonna go right here to get this. And maybe, ooh, actually, I might just want this area right here. Is it just one edge? It looks like it's just two edges. Let's see what happens if we e Ooh, almost. You know what? I think what I need to do is this. Okay. All right. E. Okay, let's see. All right, and then we're going to scale this in on the x-axis. All right. We got that going on. Let me save. All right, guys, my dogs are barking. So I, <laughs> I think I got to go, guys. I think I got to go. Blah, blah. Okay, thank you. <laughs> thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one.